Yo, what is going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with Day Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more State of Decay 2. So in today's video, we're actually going to be going over the top five features that the community of State of Decay is excited about for the game's release. So I actually put this up on my YouTube the other day and had you guys comment on it. And originally it was supposed to be a top 10 series, but there was so many people that had similar comments and stuff. So I kind of condensed it down into a top five and then I'm going to go over a couple honorable mentions that I thought were pretty cool. So so let's just jump right into it. So just so you guys know, just because I didn't pick your comment doesn't mean I didn't read it. I, I went down through and read every individual comment and was just kind of going over the ones that I wanted to put in the video. So there is this is not going to be the only top five video on State of Decay 2. This is something that I would like to do moving forward, you know, maybe a couple times a month or something, kind of gather a few things around and, you know, kind of interact with you guys on the topic. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing here, the number five spot is the graphics. So Aaron McCoy Douglas said that the graphics and this is big because if you guys want to compare State of Decay 2 to the first State of Decay, it is a night and day difference. Obviously, Undead Labs did not have as much resources and stuff for the first game and it was an Xbox Live game that you could just download from the store and stuff and I believe one of the devs said it had like a 3 gig limit or something of what all could be on screen or even what could be in the game or something like that and I believe he said in State of Decay 2 three gigs is only like a fraction of like their texture package that's going to be on the map and stuff so it's going to be a huge improvement with graphics no matter what you play on obviously if you're playing on a high-end pc you know you're going to have better graphics and stuff but it's still going to look good on xbox one xbox one x obviously and it is 4k uh, ultra hd enhanced so at number four we have chiroctic productions coming in at the maps so he says i'm most excited for exploring the three new maps i can't wait to spend hours looting houses so this is this is a huge thing for State of Decay 2 because the first game it only had one map and then obviously with the DLCs and stuff they added other features and other maps and stuff but three maps at launch you know is huge because the way the maps are going to work for those of you guys that don't know how the maps are going to work you can pick a map whatever map you want to start on you pick that map you build your base, you build your community, you explore, loot, plunder, whatever you want to call it. And then, for instance, if you kind of go through and you burn through your resources on that map, you can pick up your community and move it to the next map. And then you can do the same thing there and then move to the next map. And then once you get through all three maps, you can have the option to go back to one of the previous maps. So it's sort of a never ending cycle with these maps. And it's going to give the game a lot more replay value, especially when every single time you load up the map, it's going to disperse loot differently. It's going to lay out a little bit differently. And then obviously with, you know, the zombies and stuff, it's going to be really different because they're not always going to spawn in the same spot. You know, it's, it's a little bit more random. It's a little bit more with the back end systems like I actually discussed the other day. But uh, overall, that is number four. So at number three, we have the co-op experience. So Shawless11 says, you know, I'm really excited for the co-op so me and my dad can play together. We've always preferred co-op games and we love playing zombie games together. And it's been a while since we had a good zombie game to play. So this is huge. This is probably one of the biggest additions to State of Decay 2 from its predecessor is the addition of cooperative mode. So you're going to be able to go in play with up to three other real players on the map and you know obviously have a great time playing co-op and obviously there's you know those solo players out there myself included I enjoy playing solo I enjoy playing with other people you kind of have the best of both worlds you're not just going to be stuck playing with NPCs being the fact that we have co-op this year so that's a big addition to the game and then also with that you know obviously there's a lot of people that were asking for like PvP and stuff but there's so many other you know post-apocalyptic zombie PvP games out there you know, State of Decay doing what it's doing is kind of separating itself and being unique because there are very, very few games like State of Decay 2, if any at all, that are, you know, strictly cooperative. You know, and I think that's going to be huge for the success of State of Decay 2. So next at number two, we have base building. So Quiver620 says, I'm most excited for the base building aspects of the game. I cannot wait to build up a community. So this is definitely uh, built upon the first game and then obviously a lot more a lot more in-depth, a lot more things to do, a lot more building materials and, uh, and different uh, different sites and stuff that you can build inside your base. And then obviously with that, you're obviously going to have to upkeep with your community. So each thing takes a certain amount of people to build. And then also with having the bigger community, you're obviously going to have to have more things in your base to kind of help, uh, you know, support that community that you're going to have. So it's kind of a, a battle of both evils, you know, so, you know, you want to have a good community, you want to have a lot of players to choose from, but in turn, you're also going to have to have a big enough base with enough stuff in it to help support that community. So that's going to be one of the big 
things in this game and then the obviously the the mass amount of different bases that we're actually going to be able to occupy and then all of the different things that we're actually going to build inside of the base it's it's so deep it's so deep with the attributes and different things and, and buffs and nerfs and morale bonuses and stuff of all the things that you can do with the base building in state of decay 2 it's just, it's it's almost going to be never ending because the amount of different bases that you're going to be able to go to, move to, and then obviously when you move map to map, you're going to have access to more bases and outposts and all that kind of thing. So the base building aspect of State of Decay 2 is very deep and it's definitely going to be fitting in here on the number two slot. So number one, we have Philip Powell with the in-depth RPG aspects. I love the character progression and the base building. So this is leaning more towards the, base, uh, the uh, character progression and the in-depth RPG aspects because we just talked about base building so with the amount of different NPCs and different survivors and characters and stuff that are going to be generated in State of Decay 2 it's there's over thousands of combinations and all sorts of different stuff and there's thousands of different skills and traits and attributes that all of these characters can have you know that's going to really set them apart you're never going to run into the same character twice you know with similar traits you might find a few people that are very similar but there's no way you're going to find somebody that is the same that is going to be an ultra rare thing if you actually find a survivor that has you know the exact same traits and skills as another survivor but this is going to really add to the replay value of the game just because you know you could play through the first time and you know say your first roll you get you know one really good person in your base and you're able to keep him alive most of the game you know for instance the next time you play through or something you're, you're the leader of your base may die and you're gonna have to kind of build up you know one of your other characters back up to that leader status and you know with the certain traits and things that they have they might not be quite as good as you know say a you know warlord style but then you might have somebody else that's, you know, like a builder leader that's really going to change how you play the game. And you're, there's so many different play styles based on all of these different characters and different character traits and all of those RPG aspects. It's just going to make the game last a really long time. And it's going to make the replay value really good as well as just the difference in the way you can play the game based on all of those different character attributes and traits and stuff like that. So that is the top five, guys. Also, let me know down in the comments if you guys agree with the top five. You guys should have thought I put something else in there. So let's jump on to the honorable mentions because there's a couple of these that are pretty cool. So Did You Know by Lopez says, I can't wait to pull the trigger on my fate. Well, friend... Who becomes infected so if you guys did not know if you guys infect you get infected with the blood plague or something or you for instance you get hit by a zombie at least one time uh, when you die you will turn you will turn into a zombie no matter what unless you get shot in the head you will not turn but other than that if you get you know shot in the leg you get mauled by a zombie or something to die you will come back as a zombie so being that other teammate while you're playing in co-op that has to make that choice, you know, obviously there really is no choice at that point that's going to have to gun down your friend that you were just playing alongside because he turned into a zombie and now he's trying to eat your face. You know, that's just, that's something that's really cool. That's something that's definitely going to be unique in State of Decay 2. And that's just, that was a really cool thing that I definitely had to put down in the honorable mention. So next we have Clay Pot 10 says, I'm excited to disappear from society for a few days while I play State of Decay 2. So this is definitely something that I would have been able to do back in the day. Obviously, I have two kids and a wife and a full-time job and everything now. And I can't really just disappear from society. This was definitely would have been something that I would have done, you know, back in my early Call of Duty days when I would take, you know, a week or two weeks off of work and just literally grind all day every day i would definitely be doing that on state of decay 2 if i had you know that opportunity but you know working 40 plus hours a week you know wife and kids and stuff doesn't really present a whole lot of opportunity to you know sit down and play video games all day but uh, that was pretty cool i know there's gonna be a bunch of you guys out there that are able to do that and you are definitely gonna do that so i definitely envy you guys i'm definitely really jealous being the fact that you guys can do that so last but not least, we have I swear that Pork was 18 says, I'm excited for everything in State of Decay 2, but mainly how it immerses you into feeling like you're in an actual apocalypse and surviving with real people. No other post-apocalyptic zombie survival game does this at its realistic rate like State of Decay 2, which is what makes it so unique from the rest. How everything you can do determines whether you survive or die, how the choices you make affect everyone in some way, and you survive how you want and actually make difficult decisions. So that's very, very true. You know, if you know one of your survivors gets the blood plague or something like that and you don't have a cure, it's basically up to you 
two to execute him. You know, that's some of the things that we're going to see in State of Decay 2 is, you know, as, you know, the game at its core, you know, is very, very different than a lot of other survival games. And that's what makes State of Decay 2 so unique. We have a great, unique community, and it's just a really great opportunity to have so much fun on State of Decay 2. But that is pretty much all for the video, guys. That was just a breakdown of the top five features that you guys uh, are excited about about State of Decay 2. So like I said, this is definitely not going to be my last uh, top five or top ten, you know, video on the channel. It's something that I do would like to get into. Maybe do it, like I said, a couple times a month. But uh, also, guys, real quick, I will put a link down in the description. If you guys are on Discord and you guys want to hop over onto my server on Discord, there's a lot of people talking about State of Decay 2. I will leave that link down in the description. Feel free to uh, go over there and hang out, play all sorts of different games. I have a bunch of different rooms and stuff set up, for instance, you know, whatever games you guys want to play. Uh, you guys can use that as your Discord if you want, so feel free. But uh, if you guys are excited about State of Decay 2, you enjoyed this video, and uh, just really, you know, overall, it's it, less than a month away from State of Decay 2. You know, make sure to slap that like button. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things State of Decay 2. I'm going to be covering this game, you know, very in-depth leading up to and after the launch on May 22nd. But that is all for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.